This video is going to introduce you to the Quick Jump plugin and why I wrote it. So imagine the cursor is right here and you want to change text align from right to something like center. So a few things you could do, you could try, you know, moving the cursor up and down and then control right once you finally get down there. Um, obviously that's going to be really slow. Uh, another thing you could try and do is use the find dialog and start typing right. And then, okay, you, you see in the first results, you hit enter, then you hit escape, and then you're kind of at the right position. Um, but again, I've always thought that could be a bit improved. So what I did is uh, I created Quick Jump, which allows you to hit, I'm going to use control alt uh, semicolon here. I'll start typing RI, then you can see a little 2 pops up above where I want to move the cursor. So all I do is hit 2, and then I can select center from the drop down. Uh, so similarly, if I wanted to change uh, clip and enabled scrolling from true to false, and the cursor was here, I could uh, control alt, uh, semicolon, start typing true. You'll see it, the number 1 pops up above it and I can just hit false. Um, if I want to change something like the bottom from 100 to another number, uh, I could type 100, you'll see that number 5, and I could change that from 100 to whatever. And if I wanted to change something like, uh, say, linear gradient all the way up there from down here, I could just uh, type LG for linear gradient, type 1 because I want the top one, bitmap fill, and uh, it would just, you know, switch it automatically. So the few variations are, the one you've seen is Control-Alt semicolon, which uh, pops up the autocomplete menu when you get to it. So you can see if I go color, type 1, it'll pop up this menu. Um, the default is just Control semicolon, which will just jump you to wherever you want to go. So say I want to go to this uh, mouse children down here, you can just type MC, hit enter, and it'll bring the cursor down there, control alt, uh, see I want to go to mouse enabled, ME, enter, and then uh, control shift semicolon, uh, so say I want to go to data group, control shift, DG, one, um, and that'll just select it so you could, you know, copy it or cut it or whatever, um, and then control alt semicolon does the same thing with the autocomplete pop-up. So, uh, one thing to point out is, I mean, this is the main reason I wrote this was to be used with you know, XML markup or MXML markup because I found it the most difficult to navigate around the keyboard. Um, another thing to point out and uh, what I used for my kind of stress testing is if you do something like, uh, you'll see a lot of, find the same text here, so a lot of uh, public. We'll search for public. So if I do uh, PU, you'll see I have more results on the screen than I can possibly get to. So if you hit Control Enter, um, that'll expand the result set. And one thing you'll notice here is that these sort in order of visual distance from where this pops up. So enters this one's the closest, then one, then two, then three, then four, five, six, and seven, then eight, and nine. It may not look like it sometimes, but it's going from exactly where the cursor is on the screen to where the other results are. Um, so if maybe if I type int, it'll show up a bit better. So enter is always the very closest, then one, then two, then three, four, five. Um, and again, that's from this exact spot. So enter will always be the first result. Um, and if you need to expand your results a bit more, ST will give you a whole bunch of results. Uh, then hit control enter will take you even further out, further out, further out. Uh, control shift enter will bring you back. And so the general idea is you have your eyes kind of fixed where you want to go. So say you're, you're looking at that CON, all you're really doing is starting to type CON. You see that it doesn't pop up. You hit control enter, then enter and you get there. Um, so it's a very, it's very visually based. It's not the same as a regular find. Uh, the idea is that you already know where you want to go. 
uh, versus searching for something that you don't know it's in the file or not. So it's not really a find, it's more of a, uh, that's why I call it quick jump, because you're jumping to a location and editing that location versus searching for something and then edit, or editing it or finding, finding it or whatever. So uh, that's quick jump in a nutshell. It's freely available in the plugin section of IntelliJ or any of the JetBrains products. Uh, so hope you like it.